Let's do it. All right, I think we live, but as we get started, let's, we're gonna share this real quick. I'm gonna share my screen too. Good evening, everyone that's tuning in. Let's go. I'm about to get this audio. Got to get our got to get our stuff right and make sure we get y'all with the intro. Let's go. Share the audio real quick. Can you see that, bro? The black screen. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it. You know I had to get right with that real quick, y'all. So good evening. Welcome to another episode of the Savory Show. There we go. This is our first time we are live on YouTube. We are live on Facebook. And we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, this is something new for us. We're trying something different. Try to reach our audience in a new and better way. So that's what we're doing. So it's 7.09. We start a few minutes late. We're going to try to give you the best content, content Excuse me, that we can. You see, I'm repping my Eagles. You know what I'm saying? Because it's draft night, y'all. NFL draft is tonight. Man, shout out to everybody who's been on the page, commenting, sharing if you like, love, hate it. Sterling, you got a lot of love about your picks, man, with the mock draft. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of love, too. Just a little bit. Um, But, man, man, we, we are very excited for tonight's draft. I think all of us, regardless of what team you root for, everybody's excited. Everybody has a chance to feel like their team can go to the Super Bowl, even though we know that most of these teams are not going to sniff the Super Bowl like my Eagles. I still have hope, just a little bit of hope. All right. So if y'all don't, if y'all remember, man, if y'all didn't get to check the mock draft earlier today, that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna run through that. Boom, we see that on the screen right there. So that's what we're gonna get into first: the 2021 Savory Show mock draft. So if y'all did not see it, we just gonna run through it real quick. Um, Sterling and I pretty much had very similar picks, but not all the same, man. So we started number one, Trevor Lawrence. I was unanimous. Pick number two, Zach Wilson, the quarterback going to New York Jets. Now, here's where we started to to very um to switch up a little bit, right? So we had well, I had Justin Fields at three. Okay. My boy Sterling had Mac Jones at three. So we obviously understand that uh San Francisco, they traded up. We're pretty sure that they're going to go after the quarterback. A lot of the talk has been reported that, you know, Mac Jones or Trey Lance. Something tells me that they're actually going to go for Justin Fields. Just a feeling I have here. I think it's a smoke screen. All right. Listen, so and then after that, we both agreed Kyle Pitts at four. Uh, Panay uh, Sewell, I probably messed the name up, excuse me, going to five at the Bengals. Jamar Chase, the stud receiver, going to Miami at six. We agreed on that at seven. This is where we really switch up here. I have Jalen Waddle, the wide receiver from Bama, going to Detroit. Sterling has Devontae Smith, the Heisman Trophy winner, going to Detroit. Number eight, I have the New England Patriots making a trade, actually, with the Carolina Panthers to obtain quarterback Mac Jones. Sterling had the one of the top corners, Caleb Farley, get selected. Some people didn't think that was the right pick, Sterling, but – Caleb Farley actually is one of the high, highly regarded corners. Some people think he can be better than Sertan and uh, J.C. Horn. Then around it out real quick, y'all. So the ninth pick, Trey Lance, at quarterback. We agreed on that for Denver. Tenth pick, we agreed on Patrick Sertan going to Dallas, um, the star corner from Bama. Then at 11, Sterling had Jalen Wild, the receiver. He's still on the board going to New York Giants. I had Quiddy uh, Paye, the defensive um, lineman from Michigan, going to New York Giants, and at number 12, the Philadelphia Eagles. I had them selecting Devontae Smith. That's if he's still around, of course. You don't know. That's what I had, and I know Sterling had J.C. Horn. I'm another stud corner out of South Carolina. All right, so that being said, that's, that was our mock draft. Shout out to y'all again who commented on the, on the gram, showing love. So, bro, I'm going to turn it to you, man. So we talked about our mock draft. We obviously went over it. We talked about it. Um, what, what's your thoughts on it, man? From what you had to pick, what I had to put down, what's your thoughts on this mock draft that we did? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start with San Francisco. Uh, I don't, I don't think they're gonna take 
Justin Fields. So for everybody that who probably disagree with my draft, my mock draft, the reason I put Mac Jones there is because of the rumors that we're hearing that uh, San Francisco was highly interested in him. Uh, a report actually came out sometime this afternoon that the odds are saying that Trey Lance is actually going to be their pick. So we'll see. But I wouldn't be surprised if they went with Mac Jones. Um, I know a lot of people were kind of shocked that I had um, Fields out of my top 10, but it's just because of what's been being said about him. And I wouldn't be surprised if he is outside of the top 10. And if that's the case, that actually goes back to your trade that you have for New England at the eighth pick. I mean, go, going to the eighth pick um, and picking up Mac Jones. Now, in my opinion, I don't think New England will do that if Mac Jones is not taken at number three. Because personally to me, bro, I think if Mac Jones is not taken at three, he's going to continue to drop. So he's going to be available to them, in my opinion. And, and Fields might be available to them as well. So – I know a lot of people are saying that they might trade up, and they probably will. But I feel like if it kind of works in their favor, they don't really necessarily really have to. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll see. Um, but with that said, um, I think, like you said, we kind of like defer a little bit as far as like the receivers and things like that. I know you're hoping that Devonte Smith actually goes. <laughs> hoping and praying. Hoping and praying. And I don't think I'm silly about him. I'm telling you, there, there's a good chance he might fall. I hope for you. You're so good. I know I had J.C. Horn actually going to you guys. The thing that's interesting about that is a uh, report came out probably about an hour ago saying that Dallas is actually favoring taking J.C. Horn over Smith. Uh, so I can see it too. That, I can that, see it. And it, it could happen. Um, either way, you know, I'm cool with, you know, Sertan or Horn. I, I personally would rather have Sertan, but I'm cool with either one. I think both of these guys will be very good uh, cornerbacks in the league. Uh, so – you know, obviously Dallas has to go defense. I know everybody keeps talking about, you know, Jerry Jones falling in love with Kyle Pitts. Uh, what did he say? Having visions of sugar plums, something like that. Was, <laughs> was, that, was, that was it. Uh, whatever. Something, it probably, something like that. It, it, something it, like it, that. it was something crazy. But um, I would love to have Kyle Pitts, but I'm not going to trade, you know, up to four to get him. Um, obviously, because we both think that Atlanta is going to take Kyle Pitts. Um by the way, nobody knows what Atlanta is doing as an organization right now. You know, we're hearing rumors about them possibly trading Julio Jones. They don't know what they're going to do with Matt Ryan. But with that said, you know, you have to take Kyle Pitts. To me, the guy's transcendent, in my opinion. Um, I think that he's actually going to be, you know, a great tight end uh, once he lands foot in the NFL. Um, but I'm interested in your pick at 11 with the Giants, bro. What What, what is intriguing you about that pick with the Giants? Absolutely. So – Keeping it real, bro, like, I, you know, we do the research. We look at the, what the draft experts and analysts have to say, mock draft here, mock draft there. Personally, I believe really what I'm doing is I'm just praying that the Giants pick him because I believe the Giants, if Devontae Smith is still on the board, they actually will take him. Uh, you guys know that the New York Giants lost. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry. They just signed uh, Kenny Galladay. Excuse me. So with that being said, you still have Darius Slayton. I think you still have Sterling Shepard. That's a pretty formidable receiving court. I don't believe they need to take a receiver. I think they need an edge rusher more than an offensive help at this point. Saquon might come back healthy, right? Um, Daniel Jones, you're trying to see, can he get it done? I don't think they need a receiver. Now they can. And here's the thing. When the Philadelphia Eagles decided they were going to trade back in the draft behind Dallas and the New York Giants, you're going to get spited. So even if the Giants don't need a receiver, they know the Eagles need a receiver or a corner. So we know Dallas more than likely is going to go corner, right? We, we've been saying that for months. I feel like the New York Giants may end up going that route as well. Say, you know what? We know Philly needs a corner. We know they need a receiver, but hey, we can get a corner too. You dig what I'm saying? So I believe because of that reason, I'm trying to speak it into existence that they get the defensive end because another part of me believes that if he's on board for Philly, Philly, you know, the Philly faithful have been saying that they've been interested in him as well. He reminds them of Brandon Graham. And I'm like, man, we, we don't need another defensive. Right now. They said reminding him of Brandon Graham. No, no, who are you, no, no, you, you talking about? I couldn't hear you, which player you were talking about. Oh, uh, Quiddy, Quiddy Paye. Oh, uh, no, no. If I'm saying his name wrong, I forgive me, y'all. But he's a defensive end out of Michigan, the defensive standout. 
Look, I, you guys might. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys possibly see Michael Parsons. I've been seeing, bro. So I, actually, that's the one person I don't think we're going to grab, honestly. All these other names floating around, J.C. Horn, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith. At, no, them, I will see. Bro, we might take a D tackle of 12. I have no idea. And that's what pisses me off because I just think Michael Parsons out there because I don't know. My, hey, you know what? Michael Parsons can go either. Be available. I don't know if they're going to be available for you guys. That's just my thing. So I don't, I mean, are you guys, would you guys be sold to take J.C. Horn at 12? Would you guys make that move? I, I believe that if if we're if we're locked in to get a corner and he's the next best available, I would say yes. Uh, from doing the research, man, JC Horn, he's um a physical corner, he's gonna get after it. I've seen way too many Philly corners since 2011 and get burned, man. I remember the, the days of Asante Samuel, you know what I'm saying, with the Mike Vick days, and he had his run. We're going back, Lito Shepard, Sheldon Brown. I'm going back to the Dobbin McNabb era, Brian Westbrook, Brian Dawkins. The Eagles haven't had a, a solid cornerback in years, really a decade, more almost more than a decade. Everybody they signed free agent here, free agent there. We know Namdi Asamoah, that was awful, right? You we need to – the dream team. So that, that's my thing, bro. We, we need to make sure that – Question about offensive line. How would you guys be interested in Rayshon uh, Slater? Would you? I personally wouldn't be mad at that. However, if Devontae Smith is on the board and you do oh, not take absolutely. him, absolutely, I can't live. I can't live with. Oh no, 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 you got to take Devontae Smith. If he's on. If he's on the board, and I believe you guys will, unless your front office is ignorant. Um, and not well, they are. They're, they're, well, we know they're ignorant. I, I, I know. <laughs> I, I know that, but I mean, like, if Devontae. Smith that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, we know you guys have been, you know, been in that for a while. But <laughs> I, I would think that's hey, real, man. I can, I can just laugh at We have common sense if Devontae Smith is on the board to take Devontae Smith. But I agree with you. I think that to spite you guys, the Giants will take Devontae Smith. Yeah, um, shout out to my guy, Justin. He said, let's take Asante's kid in a second. Asante Samuel Jr., people are saying – He's another solid corner as well. Could come out the second round. I would love for Philly to do wide receiver first round, corner second round. Personally, I have no idea what the hell they're going to do. But um, when you think about it, I think, bro, we might have five quarterbacks taken in the top 10. Five quarterbacks. Nice. And if that happens, you know, everyone's seen the mock drafts. We have the Jamar Chase. We have the, you know, Jalen Waddle. Devonte Smith, um, the lineman from Oregon, like all these players, like I'm, there's going to be so many good players on paper available by the time the Eagles pick, by the time the Cowboys pick, by the time um, the Giants pick. So my thing is, and, and, and shout out to Justin for listening, but we we need somebody that's a playmaker from day one, not a project, not a JJ Ortega Whiteside, none of that. We need someone who's coming, not a um. Andre Dillard, we need somebody who's coming in, make that impact from the jump. Our receiving core, everybody listening to receiving core, you guys know is trash, is garbage. They're awful. We need another receiver that's going to take over. That's where I'm at on it, bro. Um, But, yeah, so I don't. In general. You know, we keep, we keep on talking about you guys taking receivers. Not as if a quarterback happens to fall in your guys' hands. That's Man, a, I mean, I mean, I mean let's, let's be real. That's been thrown out there. But, but, but by the way, your head coach said last week there's going to be a quarterback um, battle. Competition. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you guys are not sold on Jalen Hurts, which is a problem, you know. But I've tried to tell you this, that they're not sold on the brother. Look, it's, it's bad. He deserves opportunity. I get that. I agree with you. But at the end of the day, your organization is not sold on that man. And do not be surprised if they can snag a quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised if they went there. Don't let Matt go drop to y'all. I'm just saying anything is anything is possible with the NFL draft. You, I'm sure you would love that, right? You would, would love you would love see it. Your reaction, all the Philly faithful. Out there. <laughs> I would love to see your guys' reaction because you know why? Because you guys are out here complaining about, oh my God, what is the organization doing this and that? 
I would love nothing more to see the organization to stick it back to the fans of Philadelphia and draft wow. a quarterback. That would make my day. Oh, I hope Mac Jones drops you guys. I hope it okay. happens. Okay, okay. Let, let, we're gonna bring it back to to reality because that's just your fantasy of what you want to see happening. All right. Here's a real here's a real deal. If the Eagles draft a quarterback, I agree with you. They might, but it ain't gonna be on the first round. They might, they're gonna draft somebody third, fourth, Whoa. fifth round. Not the first. We have too many holes on this team to make to, to draft a quarterback first. I don't care who they draft in the first round. If they got a quarterback, they're not they're coming to nothing. Jane, it's a rebuilding project. Now, I'll tell you this. Um, that Carson Wentz trait, if Wentz is healthy, plays over 75% of the snaps. The um, was it the second or the third round pick or the second round pick turns to a first next year? We could have three first round picks for that reason. I don't believe we draft the quarterback now. We need a weapon or a stud on defense. Anybody can see that. Anybody can see that. You're not except your organization. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing. Like we, yeah, we all see it except you guys. My thing is this: Why would your head? Why would your head coach out there and say that? Why has it been rumors about you guys possibly being interested in a quarterback? That should not even be discussed within that organization. That that's my issue. It shouldn't be well, discussed. Well, listen. Well, when Wentz was the 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 you know the man of the franchise, got his big contract. They still drafted Hurts in the second round. Anything is possible. Let me let me just keep the record straight, okay? You're right. They're they are hate they're hating on. Her. Yeah, you don't want to keep on bringing it up, man. I'm trying to move to so I'm trying to segue somewhere else. <laughs> All right, y'all. Listen, we're gonna stay, we're gonna stay off the Eagles talk, but I just gotta say, Devontae Smith coming to us at 12. We're not gonna miss it this time, like we missed on CD Lamb last year, passed on Justin Jefferson last year. We're going to go with the Heisman Trophy winner, the two-time national champion, Devontae Smith. I don't care if the brother weighs 150 pounds soaking wet. We're taking him to Philly. That's all I got to say, bro. I'm not talking about Philly no more. We just got to wait and see. <laughs> but all right, y'all. So we're going to transition here. So we all know the news about that bad man. Well, he used to be a bad man. We're not sure right now anymore. But Aaron oh, Rodgers. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. We talked about this. We know we said it. We said if he lost, we got to pump the brakes on it. So let's say this. All right. Y'all heard the breaking news. Adam Schefter all over ESPN, all over social media. Aaron Rodgers supposedly is disgruntled and wants to basically basically say, I'm not coming back, right? Aaron Rodgers has no more guaranteed money left on his contract, okay? They fell short in the championship game, which I thought they were going to win. Unfortunately, they did not. Aaron Rodgers, for years, has been dealing with – um a front office has been inept at providing the right pieces around him. Yes, they have Devontae Adams, which is great. All pro receiver. However, that's not enough. We, we saw what happened in the championship game last year and the year prior to that. Green Bay still a few pieces away, in my opinion. So, bro, um, I wanted you to dive in real quick. And everybody listening, watch. If you want, feel free to comment, add your uh, two p uh, your two cents as well. So, bro, we gotta discuss, man. The teams who may be vying for Aaron Rodgers. Who do you think is on that list? I want to see what you got to say. I have a few teams in mind, but I want to see who do you believe might be vying for him. And we know it's a draft night; anything can happen. If somebody puts an offer, they can't. I I agree, but if somebody can mortgage mortgage their franchise and say we won't give you three first round picks, a, a star player. You never know what could happen. It provides an added level of excitement. That's all I'm saying. But I want to hear from you. Who do you think we look at these 31 other teams? Who do you think are some top teams for Aaron Rodgers to go to? Mm. So it's two that comes to mind. One is um, the Miami Dolphins for me. Ding, ding, um, ding. Absolutely. To me, that should be his number one option in my opinion is Miami Dolphins. Uh, warm weather, up and coming organization, um, good coaching staff. To me, that'd be a win for Aaron if he decided to want to go there. Uh, obviously, you know, with San Francisco want to take a quarterback, you know, I would have said um, San Francisco, um, 
should be interested in it. And actually, a report came out like two days ago, actually, that they were interested actually in Aaron and actually called Green Bay asking for his services. So uh, obviously, you know, things, I mean, even if they draft a quarterback who I mean, I don't know, they still might try to pursue him. Um, it's it's going to be kind of difficult at that point, but I would have loved to see him possibly go to San Francisco. Uh, I think those are like the two teams that come to me right now. Um, it'll be very interesting. Obviously, the Bears can use a quarterback, but obviously they're in the same division. That's definitely not going to happen. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's just going to be very interesting to see. I need to see his list of teams and who's he, who's he's interested in going to. Like, would he be interested in possibly going to the Jets? Uh, I don't know. They're going to probably take a quarterback as well. So it's like, you know, it, it's it's very interesting to see. I'm just thinking about teams who actually probably need a quarterback. Um, but with a lot of these teams possibly taking a quarterback early in the first first round this year, I'm just trying to see where it's going to be an opening for him. But pretty much Miami's probably going to be his best bet, in my opinion. That's great. And that's actually the one I was going to start with was Miami. Now, now, it, see, here's the thing, bro. With that story being broke on the first day of the NFL draft, you have to expect that there's going to be at least half the teams in the league are going to at least just make the phone call to Green Bay just to say if they would even entertain it. The Dolphins are definitely, as far as draft capital, one of the top teams I throw up there. You go, you might laugh at this, but a couple more teams that I think he could go to, I don't know how they would pull it off. <laughs> Number one, I think the New Orleans Saints, the New Orleans Saints, that you know, Drew Brees retired. Now, the thing is, I don't believe they have the draft capital. However, that's another team I think of. I'm not mad at that one. I'm not mad at that one. Because we, we know between Taysom Hill and Jameis Winston, they don't, bro, they they not going to work. I, I agree, but I don't think Aaron would want to go there just because uh, Brady. Brees comparison. Drew Brees comparison. I don't, I don't even think it's that. If, if you don't want to go, it's more so he's got to play Brady twice a year. <laughs> ma, 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 maybe, Honestly. Ma, ma, maybe that, but I, I'm thinking more so like about the legacy standpoint. Like I don't think people even want to like – I don't think New Orleans even be on his list, to be honest with you. Honestly, bro, I don't think they're probably going to trade him in the NFC. They're going to probably trade him mm -hmm. to the AFC, in my opinion, because they're not because they're, they're yeah. not going to see him, you know, possibly, you know, throughout the – or even in the postseason. They're not going to want to see him. Um, I agree. I agree about that. <sighs> Man, I, in the AFC, bro, it's like, I don't really, when you think of these different divisions, right, the Jets really may be the only team, if you're talking about draft capital, that might be able to trade for them. Not that even even want to go, but we know what the AFC North is looking like, right? Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Cleveland, they're, Cincinnati, they're not trading for them. The West, I mean, Denver, that's the only other team that could come to mind if you're talking about someone who needs a quarterback, Denver for sure is hell. They need one. But again, you're going to play Mahomes twice a year. But it's like, I don't know. I think I think the Dolphins, bro, are the best bet, like you said. The, the Miami Dolphins, even though they have Tua, if you have a chance to get Aaron Rodgers, yeah. I, you got to take that to opportunity. Me, that would be the best. To me, that should be like the best. Does he have no trade calls? I'm not for sure. To be honest, I – I, I don't want to say he does, but he he just he just might. He should. He should have a no trade clause. He has a no trade clause, and he can dictate where he wants to go. Uh, but if he doesn't, they can trade him anywhere, you know, to anybody, and they will. They won't. They, you know, they won't look at it as you know what. Let's trade him to where he wants to go. They're going to trade him to where they, who can get, they can get the best capital. For. So, absolutely. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. So, who else did you have on that list besides? Uh, Miami and New Orleans. You know what? Don't tell me you put but I know. Huh? Don't tell me you put the Eagles. Oh no. I, I actually put New I put New England. New England Patriots, bro. That's a but because Bill cool. listen. No. I know, bro, but at the same time, like, it's, <laughs> it's limited. We're talking about the AFC. The Patriots don't have a solidified quarterback. We know Cam Newton's there for one more year, and that's it. They're looking to – hey, bro, I, I, I know the legacy point, like you're saying. At this point, Aaron just wants to win a chip, bro. I don't think he cares how he does it. No, no, I, I agree, but it also says something that you're going to fight, bro, top of the South Carolina. 
So like that 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 angle is gonna be used everywhere. And I'm sure he's not gonna want to hear that. Like to me, he's gonna want to go to a place where they're semi getting established, like like Miami, who we mentioned it now. He can take them over the top and get all the praise and love for it. You know, because because here's my thing though. So you're ba- we're basically saying then he either has to go somewhere where he has to be the guy and like uplift the franchise that's on the come up, or he goes somewhere where there's already been an established quarterback like the Brady New England, Drew Brees in New Orleans. I feel like he had, obviously L.A. We thought the Rams might make a play for him, but that didn't happen. They got Matt Stafford. That would have been a good situation. So at this point. I mean, the 49ers are another team that 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 you think of, right? We know they're getting a quarterback one way or another. But would Green Bay be willing to even trade him to there? That's like that's what you're saying. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to come up with these teams. That's why the AFC in the East, I could see it. All three of them teams except the Bills could use a quarterback at this point. Like, because to me, it's kind of like the – obviously, he was a free agent. It was kind of like the Peyton Manning effect when he went to Denver. It was kind of like, all right, you know, Denver's like, you know, a playoff team, but they need a quarterback like me to take them to the Super Bowl. Obviously, he was coming off that neck injury too. It, it, we exactly. didn't know how he's going to come back for real. Exactly. Obviously, it was like it was his final Super Bowl run. It, exactly. But when, they, when they signed him, it was like, okay, this guy's going to take us to the promise. He can take us there, you know. So that's kind of how I feel about Aaron too. Like he needs to go. Like Miami to me is the best spot, and if he's smart, he is picking Miami today. He is that. That's who he. That, that's who he should want to go to, in my opinion. I'm with you on that. So I think we're agreeing in agreement when we talk about Miami for real. I think we're basically. All right, bet. All right, y'all. So that's cool. Real quick, I'm gonna drop this, you know, because now we got this new these new little features and stuff. So feel free. We got about ten minutes left at seven thirty five. We're gonna end about seven forty five. Feel free to drop the fan questions in the chat if you are on Facebook Live or if you're on YouTube. Feel free to drop some then. Um, but as we await some people to comment and let us know what how you feel about tonight's draft, um, I want to jump right back into the draft one more time, bro, for the last few minutes that we got here. Um, so I want to know from you, bro, what do you think? We obviously did our mock draft. Do you have any exceptions or any like um, anything that's going to sneak up on us, you think, when it comes to who might be picked or anything – a sleeper pick that comes up. Anything on your mind about that? He's not a sleeper pick, but Rayshon Slater to me is something I'm a player I'm very much interested in. I really want to see where he's going to get placed because some people have had him in the top ten or you know early top twenties. So it's like I don't, I don't really, I'm, I'm anxious to see who's going to pick because I really think he's going to be a very good player. So I just really want to see where he's going to get picked. Um. I'm anxious to also see, like, not any more like sleepers, but it's more so like, where is Micah Parsons going? You mm. know, like a lot of people like say he has a lot of upside, and some people kind of been like, ah, we don't really know. So it's like I'm anxious to see where he's going to get placed. I think he'll be in the top fifteen somewhere, um, but um, I'm anxious to see what you know what he'll do. Uh, but. Pretty much, man. I'm just anxious to see how far some of these receivers are going to drop. That's a good part as well. I, I'm with you on that. And honestly, when we when we talk about that, y'all, um, and feel free if you have any questions, like I said, just drop them in the comments. We'll, we'll try to get to them within these last few minutes here um, before we wrap up. But it, it's really interesting because, honestly, you got the, the top three trio we think are the top three. In any order, you could say Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, right? After that, it's like, okay, what's going to happen next? We know some other people. Um, sorry, we know some other teams that need receivers. So a team that comes to mind for me, the Baltimore Ravens, who desperately, desperately excuse me, need a receiver. They had the 32nd ranked passing attack last year, right? So we know that they're picking later in the draft, 20 something. So is there going to be a receiver like a Rashad Bateman? That's a, a sorry. Uh, is Rashad Perriman? I think it's Rashad Perriman. Excuse me, Rashad yeah. Bateman. Excuse me. Um, I'm thinking of a former receiver. That's why I said, but um, Rashad Perriman is uh might be available for them. Um, or bro, I, I apologize if it's Bateman or Perriman. I don't know why Rashad. I'm thinking of somebody else. But y'all get what I'm saying. The one out of uh, Minnesota, I believe. So we gonna see. I mean, I want to say it's a sleeper on my end, bro. But I'm thinking that the pick that I think we all need to be 
aware or worried about is the number four pick with the Atlanta Falcons because everyone's kind of saying Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts. Something tells me that depending on how the Niners pick at quarterback, they might grab a quarterback as well. Um, and I'd be crazy if we the first four picks of quarterbacks. Damn, that's going to be crazy. I don't know about Kyle that. Pitt, Kyle Pitts going to who after that? If that's the case. He, the, now, here's the situation. Oh, if God, that God. happens. Damn, boy. <laughs> nah, 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 oh, hell no. He, he's not going to fall a 10. Somebody's going to trade up and grab him. That's what's going to happen. If, the, if he falls, think about it. Well, or Miami might yeah. Miami might take him over Jamar Chase if that's it. Yeah, everyone think, I was about yeah. to say. I don't think nobody gonna try. I think he gonna fall right into the right team's lap. We gonna see what yeah. your Bengals do, by the way, too. If they gonna try and if they actually gonna get alignment or they gonna get a receiver. I'm just saying, you rapping for your for your city, bro. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm from there, but I ain't about to rap them. They need to draft offensive linemen. They need to draft my guy out of Oregon. That's what they should do if they're smart. They gotta protect. My God. Man, his first year he tore his ACL, man. He's getting lit up. They couldn't block for him at all. They have to. Forget. I mean, they have weapons already. Forget. I mean, I mean you would love that. They need to protect that man. So they did not kill him. Yeah, I mean, right. man, almost died. I mean, the man, he got injured, but he almost died last year. Yeah, that's looking, not looking good for him. He you, I agree. Done. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. So... We'll see. I think Detroit at seven and also Carolina at eight, I feel like is going to be the most talked about pick. I believe at number eight, that number eight pick is going to the highest bidder, whether it's Dallas that wants to move up, whether it's Philly that wants to move up, whether the Chargers want to move up, who pick at 13. And for that number eight pick or New England, does New England want to move from 15 to eight to grab a quarterback like your boy had projected? I think it's very possible. Yeah. And here's the thing, even if it ain't Mac Jones, it might even they might snag Trey Lance because Denver's in the even though Denver traded for Teddy Bridgewater just yesterday and they got Drew Locke, eh, we're not really sold on him either. They might still want to get a quarterback too. We don't know. They only traded a six round pick for Teddy Bridgewater, so you're not saying much there. I think I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm if you're on the way to Trey Lance, I can see it, but I'm not super set on it. That will happen. So you think New England will just wait for somebody to fall, pretty much? I, I think if Mac Jones is available still, he'll drop down to them. I really believe that. Because I don't see any other team ahead of them taking him. I don't. Especially after the eighth pick. I, I just don't. I mean, after the ninth pick. Because um, mm. like you said, I, I mean, like Denver probably will take Trey Lance at number nine, most likely. If that's what I'm saying. I think if any other team that wants a quarterback, New England, they might want to – that's what I'm saying. They're going to try to jump – Denver, bro. That's what I'm thinking. But and it might not be Mac Jones. It could be it could be Trey Lance too. People think Trey Lance might go with three. That's my thing. So it's like we really don't know. We really don't know. Now here's my thing. And you're not saying this. Now I can see them trading up eight for Justin Fields, but not for no Mac Jones or Trey Lance. They'll trade up to eight to get Justin Fields. New England. That I could see. That I that would that I would I would agree with that one. I agree with you, bro. I agree. We'll see. We will see. But with that being said, we got another question, man. We let's go, with my guy Justin. The biggest bust in draft history: Leaf, Russell, or someone else. We were kind of talking about this the other day. I think of who could potentially be a big, the biggest bust uh, ever in this draft. And I think you have called it out too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you said someone has potential in this draft, I believe, right? If I'm not mistaken. In this draft? I thought you said somebody you thought could be the biggest bust. Yeah, in this draft. One no, of the quarterbacks. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I said this. I, did I? I thought you said you said something like that. Yeah, you said that someone has potential to be the biggest bust. We might have been talking about like Zach Wilson or something like that. Oh, no, I was just saying like in general. Like, you know, yeah. like somebody probably had – and it could be Zach Wilson. I'm not super sold on the guy. Um, I'm not either. Keep it so, real yeah, with you. Yeah, I think – But the biggest bust in draft history, ooh, it might be Ryan Leaf. It might be. I'm, I might have to go with Ryan Leaf too, man. Yeah, it I, might be Ryan. <laughs> he, he was good. I mean, super he, hype. He, he thought he was going to be next one. 
Like they thought he was going to be the next super superstar quarterback for the next generation to come. You know, I mean, he got you know he got picked above Peyton Manning. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah. So mm-hmm. it, it's not, Jamarcus. I, I I say no to Jamarcus because yeah. I just don't. Athletically, he was super talented and gifted. I just don't believe that maybe people thought he was going to be as great as maybe Ryan Leaf was projected to be. That's why. But he's definitely up there. He's top five for you know sure. Who? Mr. 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 Ethan Fingers. Ethan Hands, wherever. But you know what I'm talking about. Your boy, James Winston. <laughs> oh, eat the W? Yeah, eat the you W. Eat the W, whatever it is. That man should be on this list today. Today. <laughs> He he, man, I, I love Jameis when he was at Florida State. Man, he won a national championship. I Today. thought he's gonna be the next big thing. Today, oh, boy, was I wrong. Achilles Smith should be in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, man, it's, yeah, yeah. But Jameis, yeah. he's Jameis is, you know, if he don't get his career together, man. He, he gonna be he gonna be a career backup. That's what he's gonna be. Man, bust, bust. Yeah. If that. Happens. I'm with it on that. Listen, man, I, tsh, we appreciate the question, though, bro, man. I mean, sh- we about to wrap up in a, in a minute or so here. But all I know is, man, we're excited to see who who the, everybody's going to draft. We're going to be all watching it till 10, 11, 12, East, whatever the time is. Well, I might not be after the Eagles pick at 12, depending on who they pick. I might just turn my TV off because I might not be able to deal with it. This this man here on the camera, I'm not going to be able to deal with it. If the Eagles pick someone at a left field, I'm just gonna turn my phone off. I'm I'm doing I'm turning my phone off. Don't contact me. Like don't text me. Nothing. Don't party like we did last year. Because once you guys uh, uh, took Jalen Rager last year, the, the fact is, you try to justify it though. You try to justify Jalen Rager. You try. You try. You tried to see the good in it. You try. I did because I want to. I want to be fair to the brother. I want to be fair to him, man. I tried to be fair, and after I saw him this year, I was like, you know what? Done with him. Done with him. I couldn't rock with him. All right, so we got another question, uh, my guy Perry. Who you got the Ravens picking? Hmm, good question. Y'all are picking a little bit later in this draft, if I'm not mistaken. So we all know that the Ravens need a wide receiver. Um, we also know that the Ravens had just traded um, their left tackle, right tackle, Orlando Brown, to the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Ravens actually got some more draft picks, too. So the Ravens might be able to make a move, Perry. They might be able to move up a little bit closer in the first round to get um, another receiver, right? I think that's a possibility. Um, hmm, that's a good question. I will say this, Perry. I believe y'all are definitely going offense in the first round whether that's a lineman or a wide receiver. Now, if it's a um, receiver, though, who was the brother's name I just had said before that I thought was projected? Ah, uh, man. Hold on one second, bro. I just had it here. I don't know, Sterling, if you if you had a name for somebody for the Ravens, but. Um, it's a person I'm actually thinking about. Uh, I was actually thinking defense, possibly. Oh, for the, um, the Ravens. Okay. Got it. Um, uh, what's my guy's name out of Georgia? Um, he's a um, a corner pass, pass rusher. Um, oh god, um, can't pronounce his name. It's, uh, Aziz Jury, a I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, um but he's a um, edge rusher out of Georgia. Uh, a lot of people said that they were very interested in him, so I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So that's uh, who's the, I'm trying to think of the brother's name that I had seen up here. Who, who you oh, you, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aziz. Aziz is the guy you're speaking on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I could see that. I think. Look, man, the Ravens, bro. Whether it's the first or second round, you know who else they could get the the brother from Florida, but he's another speed guy. You guys already have Hollywood Brown, but um, I think his name is Kadarius Tony, the receiver. Yeah, he said I don't want I don't want him at all. <laughs> he said I want him want him at all. Too much of a project. Ooh. Um, are you talking about the the brother from Georgia, I believe, or maybe he's talking about that receiver from? Oh, you know what, bro? I just seen too about Aziz from uh, Georgia. They said that he has a he might have a, a degenerative knee issue. 
that don't sound good, bro. He has some some long term medical issues that are concerning. Um, I'm not taking, but there I know they very much interested in him. I know that much, so I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, okay. You know what? Out of the receivers that left, bro, that I see, yeah, Elijah Moore from Ole Miss is interesting as a receiver. But if he's on the board still, but I think yeah, Z's yeah, he 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 do seem like a project. Um, but that's a good thing. Yeah, look, I'm going receiver, Perry. I'm going receiver or offensive lineman for the Ravens in the first round. That's what I'm doing. I'm rocking with that. Um, I'm I'm intrigued, man. I, man, I all the rumors we've been seeing the rumors, the reports. I want to see somebody gonna have gonna have the balls to trade for Aaron Rodgers, bro. That's what I want to see. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Is somebody gonna <laughs> lay it on the line tonight and try <laughs> to trade for Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> you never know, <laughs> bro. Somebody got to. Somebody got to. Somebody has to give them an offer they cannot refuse. They're not going to do it tonight, especially after he just announced the trade today. Like, you know how trades work, bro. We never see a trade happen that quick when a superstar requests for one. It takes time. Uh, only this thing is- I can say, unless it was there was some behind the scenes, you know, friction that I know um, we just heard about it today. But I'm just saying. But I'm here's the thing: if the Packers today. wanted somebody. If they want to, if they wanted people who are being drafted currently, that's why I say that because you're not going to wait till day three of the draft and say, "Oh, I'm going to trade." Who, who's Green Bay going to draft right now? Early? Who? Who, they gonna, who, 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 who? I'm just saying, like, who, who, who would Green Bay want to draft now? You already got a young quarterback waiting in the wings right now, and Jordan Love. So what? You, but, so, so, like, what who, I'm who, saying is, you you can still get. Like, who are you going for? They might get a. They could get a defensive. St- I mean, Pat, you could always use defense. You get a defensive stud. You can get the tight end pits. You can get any one of them brothers. I'm just saying. I go ahead. Um, all right, let's look at those teams that's mentioned in the top twelve. Outside of Miami, that's the only one. That's the only one you're gonna trade. Jets maybe, but they're not going to. Jets maybe. I met you. Yeah, I'm just saying Miami has got picks, man. In that top twelve that you're gonna make a trade with right now. Miami, That's like you said, Miami. Yeah. Well, if he don't get okay, I'll put it this way, man. If he don't get traded tonight, I just I don't think he'll get traded this year at all. Personally. No, no, no. Per- personally, I think if, if, if it continues to linger on and, and it's a huge issue, he will get traded, in my opinion. Not just not tonight. Just not tonight. I want to see somebody just pull the trigger, man. We need some more excitement. The draft tonight. Yeah. 80 Eastern, it starts a few minutes here, y'all. We want to see. I know y'all want to see it. Y'all want to see him get traded tonight, not tomorrow, not next week. We want to see it tonight because it's going to be, it's going to blow up Twitter, it's going to blow up Instagram, it's going to blow up all social media, Bleach Report, ESPN, everywhere is going to be talking about this. So that's what I want to see, bro. It'll be exciting as hell. Um, but with that being said, bro, I know we're getting closer to, uh, to end yeah. the show here. Um, we just want to, uh, one real quick time shout out the fans for tuning in on this new platform we're using man we're trying to go we want to go live for y'all stream it on multiple platforms not just on instagram live this time so we want to switch it up see how see how it works we got a little cool background you see what i'm saying we got a, the ticker and things like that so we want to try some new see how it works so we shout out to y'all for checking us out shout out to everybody who also was on the ig commented later uh earlier excuse me um you know, commenting on, on the mock draft picks. I know some people was rocking with Sterling, or really more than people was rocking with his picks. Some people rocking with mine. I still believe that Fields is going to get drafted at three. That's just a thing I feel. I know y'all going to look at me like, Avery, the reports have been saying is Mac Jones or Trey Lance. Some tells me they might just go for Justin Fields, and I think they will regret it if they don't. So you mark that, you know, Kyle Shannon. If you do not pick Justin Fields with the third pick, y'all going to regret it. Y'all think Mac Jones the next Tom Brady. Y'all will be mistaken. I'm telling y'all right now. Y'all could think you're the next Brady. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Y'all trade up. You, you mortgage your future to trade up the three to, to draft Mac Jones. I don't see it. Can't see it, bro. Um, Real quick before we conclude, too. 
you know, I, y'all don't see it. Well, I'm about to show y'all. This is, you know, the Savory Show t-shirt. If y'all were tuned into the last episode, Savory Show speaker series with the phenomenal Andrea Williams from the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, y'all would have seen I had this shirt on too, repping. T-shirts will be available soon. We will be doing another giveaway. Uh, you know, we did one last summer. We got to get some more merch. So once again, if y'all didn't see it, Savory Show t-shirt, y'all see it in the camera. It's a dry fit. All right. So it's good. It's getting hot out. We, you know, I'm down in Georgia, Sterling and Indy, but it's starting to get hot out wherever y'all are listening to this. So got to get some of that merch going to y'all soon. Um, but all right, bro. I know um, we're going to conclude in a minute here. I don't know if you had anything else you'd like to share to listeners. Anything you want to say as we conclude here for the evening? I can't. I don't think we can hear, bro. What you saying? You hear me? Yeah, you good. Yeah, I just want to just thank you guys for your uh, continuous support uh, for our podcast. You know, just keep tuning in to uh, bigger and better things that we have planned in the future. So that's all I have to say. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate y'all again. Don't forget to follow us Instagram, Facebook, YouTube at The Savory Show. Savory spelled S A V E R Y. Got some new content coming for y'all soon. Appreciate y'all on the live content. We'll be doing a lot more live streams now with this. So be on the lookout. So. With that being said, y'all enjoy the draft. Crack open some drink. Put your feet up. Enjoy it. Root for your team. And fly, Eagles, fly. Don't forget that. Devontae Smith, number 12, coming to Philly. That's all I got to say. That's a wrap. We're out. I'll take it easy. Peace, y'all.